Good morning students. Hello and welcome to the first part of crop production and management by your own Jigna ma'am. तो कैसे हो आप सभी I hope you all are at home enjoying your vacation. पर आपको नहीं लगता ये वेकेशन थोड़ा ज्यादा लंबा हो गया है तो अब इस वेकेशन को एंड करने का टाइम आ गया है सो नाउ इट्स टाइम टू स्टार्ट स्टडी आप तो स्कूल आ नहीं सकते हो बिकॉज ऑफ द कंडीशन कॉल्ड कोरोना बट डोंट वरी वी ऑल हैव मेड अटेम्प्ट्स टू टीच यू वेल यू आर एट योर होम सो ट्राई टू कोऑपरेट try to learn and try to understand as much as you can so today before starting first let me congratulate all of you that you have come to standard 8 from standard 7 we welcome you all in the standard 8 so now as you have grown up your responsibility have also increased and i expect that you all have become more responsible so i will take your signs and so let's start the first topic and first part of your signs crop production and management by me that is jigna ma'am so let's see the first point here we shall discuss is the basic concepts which are present in your chapter which we will discuss in this video these are the few points which we are going to discuss in this video and the first point is agricultural practices second point is crop third point is types of crop fourth point is basic practices of crop production next point is the first point of the practice of crop production and that is preparation of soil when you want to produce any crop first thing you need to do is prepare the soil then we are going to learn which agricultural implements are required to be used for preparing the soil and they are plow hoe and cultivator so these are the concepts and the points which i am going to cover in this first part of your first unit that is crop production and management so let's start with the first point that is what is agricultural practices to so, agricultural practices kise kehte hain aaiye dekhte hain agricultural practices means various techniques used for the process of agriculture एग्रीकल्चर प्रैक्टिस किसे कहते हैं तो वो सारी टेक्निक्स जो हम एग्रीकल्चर करने के लिए यूज करते हैं प्लीज ट्राई टू नोट द डेफिनेशन बिकॉज दे आर रियली इंपॉर्टेंट एंड यू विल रिक्वायर इट टू राइट इट इन योर बुक आपको ये डेफिनेशन बुक में लिखनी भी होगी और एग्जाम में आ सकती है तो ट्राई टू नोट इट एंड अंडरस्टैंड इट next point let's move to the second question that is what are crops when we discuss about agriculture first question comes is what are crops pehle crops kya hai wo janna zaruri hai to let's see when plants of the same kind are cultivated at one place on a large scale it is called a crop जब एक ही टाइप के प्लांट्स को लार्ज नंबर में एक ही जगह पे ग्रो किया जाता है तो उसे क्रॉप प्रोडक्शन कहा जाता है ओके यानी कि इफ देर इज वन फार्म एंड इन सिंगल फार्म यू आर ग्रोइंग अ सिंगल प्लांट दैट इज ऑफ ग्राउंड नट सो इट इज कॉल्ड द क्रॉप ऑफ ग्राउंड नट नाउ लेट सी एंड मूव टू द नेक्स्ट how many types of crops are there and which are there there are two types of crops mainly first is kharif crop and second is rabi crop to ab dekhte hain kharif crop kise kehte hain aur rabi crop kise kehte hain what are kharif crops 
To carry crops means the crops which are sown in the rainy season that is from June to September are called Kharif crops. यानी कि वो crops जो rainy season में हम उगाते हैं उसे Kharif crops कहते हैं और India में rainy season कब होती है June to September. Remember both definition and also the time because anything can come in MCQ or one mark question. The definition of crop is also in your textbook and this definition is also in your textbook. So I have specially mentioned here as you need to learn this and you need to write it in your book. Okay. So let's see the examples of Kharif crop. Examples are paddy, maize, soybean, groundnut and cotton. These are the Kharif crops. So remember the examples too. Okay. Now let's see in the picture of the Kharif crops. Rice means paddy, corn, soybean, sugarcane, groundnut, cotton. Okay. See all those pictures I have put here. So that you can understand which are the Kharif crops and how they looks. All the examples I have tried to show here. Now let's move to the next question. What are Rabi crops? Rabi crops kise kehte hain? So let's see. Here. The crops grown in the winter season. That is October to March are called Rabi crops. Yani ki jo crops winter season mein grow karte hain. Usse Rabi crops kehte hain. Aur India mein winter season kab kehi jati hain. It's from October to March. As I mentioned in the Kharif crop. This definition of Rabi crop is also in your text. And you have to learn. And also you have to learn the time period. Anything can come in the MCQ. And one mark question. I am telling you right now. Because you can make a knot and then when it comes in the exam, you can remember and you can write the answer. Now, let's see the examples of Rabi crop. They are wheat, gram, pea, mustard and lean seeds. Okay. All this is mentioned in that book also. So, let's see the picture of the picture. Wheat, chicken, chickpea, almond, broccoli. Mustard and oat. Okay, so all these are the rabi crops. So, what is the difference? So, the kharif crop grows in monsoon and rabi crop grows in winter. Okay, this you have to remember. Now, let's move to the next point, and that is what are basic practices of crop production? Crop production ki basic practice is what is it? So let's see here and these practices are basic practice of crop production includes first point preparation of soil second point sowing that is sowing of seeds third point adding manure and fertilization right that is also must thing to for the proper and very good growth ठीक है क्रॉप को अच्छी ग्रो करने के लिए मैन्यूअर फर्टिलाइजर की जरूरत होती है नेक्स्ट इरिगेशन दिस इज आल्सो वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट पार्ट दैट इज वाटरिंग उनको जितने अमाउंट में वाटर चाहिए क्रॉप को वो हमें देना जरूरी है नेक्स्ट प्रोटेक्टिंग फ्रॉम वीड्स यस दिस इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट नेक्स्ट इज हार्वेस्टिंग सो दीस आर द पॉइंट्स which are included in the basic practices of crop production. But here we shall discuss only the first point that is preparation of soil. Wo kaise karte hai? Crop production ke liye soil ko hum kaise ready karte hai? Wo hum abhi dekhne wale hai. And last point is the storage. Crop ko harvest karne ke baad unhe kaise sambhalna hai? Wo bolte hai storage. So, Let's move to the one point that is preparation of soil. How do we prepare the soil? Kaise karenge? 
by plowing or tilling the soil. Now plowing and tilling किसे कहते हैं तो देखते हैं हम What is plowing and tilling? See the definition here. The process of loosening and turning of the soil is called plowing or tilling. Soil को loosen करना और उसे turn करना यानी उस soil को ऊपर से नीचे और नीचे से ऊपर करना और उसे loose करना तो इस टेक्निक को कहते हैं प्लविंग या टिलिंग ओके राइट दिस डेफिनेशन आल्सो दिस इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट डेफिनेशन दो इट इज नॉट मेंशन प्रॉपरली इन योर टेक्स्ट आई हैव रॉट दिस डेफिनेशन एज यू कैन लर्न एंड राइट दिस लेट्स मूव टू द नेक्स्ट थिंग अब प्लविंग क्या है वो तो पता चल गया तो प्लविंग के लिए हमें क्या चाहिए विच एम्प्लीमेंट्स आर यूज फॉर प्लविंग और टिलिंग कौन से इंस्ट्रूमेंट्स चाहिए होंगे या कौन से इंप्लीमेंट्स चाहिए होंगे तो चलो देखते हैं इंप्लीमेंट्स यूज फॉर प्लविंग और टिलिंग फर्स्ट प्लव सेकेंड हॉय एंड थर्ड दैट इज कल्टीवेटर अबाउट दिस थ्री इंप्लीमेंट्स वी विल लर्न ओके विच इज ऑल्सो मैंशन इन योर टेक्स्ट दो यू डोंट हैव टेक्स्ट you should know that we are trying to give you all the points here that's why i have covered all the points here as you don't have the text so this is plow here plow is a large farm tool which is pulled by a tractor or by a animal jise hindi mein hum hal kehte hain here in the picture you can clearly see what is the plow which is putted on the ox Okay let's move to the next this tool is called hoe and this tool is called cultivator these three tools are used for plowing and tilling the soil yani ki soil ko till karne ke liye ya plow karne ke liye yani ki soil ko soft karne ke liye aur use upar niche karne ke liye jo isme hum acche se dekh sakte hain to wo karne ke liye hum ye three instruments use karte hain that is plow hoe and cultivator so this type of question can also come which implements are used for plowing so you should mention plow hoe and cultivator i hope this points are clear i will see you in the next part next week till then thank you so much study well and understand well